I have salutations. This is something for folk. And welcome back to um let's play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Um I'm going to Charmed Ridge, I guess, because <laughs> it's the first level I found. I think that means only fireworks factories left, which like kind of was the one I wanted to go to first. Whoops! I just kind of went it to whatever level I came across first. The word Charmed makes me think of, ah, uh, I, I forget their full username, but Charmed. Um, I keep thinking about their icon, like the face they had in Cow's Crazy's NHL Hits LP. I'll see if I can get a picture of that face for here to show you, but yeah. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. Alright. Wait, are those bottomless pit fairies? Alright, so, um... These aren't cats. Um, I'm looking forward to finding out those two are, like, actually in love or something. But, wasn't it? Um, okay, how do I deal with you? Oh, you're, you're small enough to charge. Huh, I, I didn't expect that. Um, all on Zed. No, there are not bottomless fit fairies. I was expecting bottomless pit fairies. I don't know why I was expecting bottomless pit fairies. But I was expecting bottomless pit fairies. Mostly because the introduction was Spyro, from a fairy. We urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you, but you're um, not actually doing anything despite the fact that these aren't cats nor wizards. Um, how did I not get that gem? No one knows. Um, this level seems very, um, bottomless pit. Oh, okay, these are the cat wizards. Okay, there are cat wizards. So once again, um, I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but that's definitely what I did. I didn't actually want to fall yet. Um, okay, actually, what do, what do I, um, okay, so. I can attempt to glide to there, which is what I did. All right. Okay, so, um, what do you have to say, fairy? Hurry, Spyro. If we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Asriel. Alright, but you're not actually, um, helping me. Okay, so it's a loser. That's the problem. Um, now, I did see this ledge. Which has like a whole two one-ups on it, which is worth it. So um, now I get to go around again. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, okay, um... I'm guessing if I kill this guy, he shrinks again, then I can kill him. Yes, okay. It, it's kind of like Dark Hollow in a way. Um, Dark Passage in a way from Spiral 1. Hey, it's a useful fairy. Actually, this level reminds me a lot of, like, Spiral 1. Ow. Um... What are you doing here? 
Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. All right, sure. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to. You know, come to think of it, the wizards only agreed to raise the steps. They never said they... Oh. I see how it works. Alright. Anyway, um... What I... I, I don't think I want to deal with... Actually, can I, um, convince you? Hey, you, um... No. Okay. Alright. So, basically the way it works is they'll raise it only for a limited amount of time. I like how the wizards agree, like, to help me, though, because they would have won. Um, I'm sure I'll deal with you in due time. You're probably water. But I'm not gonna risk it yet. Alright. Yeah, you're definitely water, but I'm still not gonna go down there yet. Yeah, this is such a spiral one level. It is kind of incredible how spiral one this level is. There's no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal a poor princess. Alright, um, good for them. Um, all right, let's go. Yes, using that to, well, um, I guess that's not water. Well, I'm glad I didn't jump into it intentionally, but I'm also surprised it's not water, because it's the first time this game's had a blue liquid that's not water. All right, let's try um, this, like, very, um, by this game's standards, like, it's a very, um, like, traditional plat- this level's- there's something about it that's very, um, it's- reminds me of Spyro 1 in a lot of ways, as I already mentioned. All right, you're gonna talk to me again, aren't you? No, you're just gonna leave because I am um, already opened the door. All right, you. Why didn't you make like the dang? Oh, these guys. I haven't seen these guys in a while. Uh, okay, can I just stop getting hit? That would be nice. But let's just kind of, um, look at all of this money. I mean, this game definitely has more money per world. Like, wasn't the most expensive thing in Spiral 2 a thousand gems? And that was for, like, an upgrade. Meanwhile, in this game, we've paid, like, 800 gems to progress in a level. I just realized the frogs have crowns on. Like, I mean, admittedly, I should have expected that, but I didn't for some reason. Anyway, let's go up here. Um, that was a, a thing I had to do. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. Isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. All right, I was I was totally right. I was totally right. I was totally right. I called it 
so hard now, didn't I? Also, you are shooting plungers at me. I called that earlier in the game. I'm sure in the original those were arrows, but um... Actually, I'm not sure at this point. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and see what she says now that her princess has eloped. Alright, well... No, it only does one damage. Alright, well, um, let's... Down here... Oh, there's a ladder, for starters, and there's a few gems, and, um, this water is not water, so don't go into it. Like, from here, you can kind of tell that it's glowing, but still, I would have made it, like, purple or something. Alright, um, let's just kind of do this. Woo! I made it. Okay, um, the thing is... I don't have a certain, um, drag- Okay. Here's what we do. We rush forwards and we get in here. What are you? According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Gross Seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. All right, um... So they make mushrooms. Um, does it matter what one's what? Oh, one's a flower seed and one's a mushroom seed. Okay. And I can't jump onto the mushrooms. Um, does it actually make a difference? Like, if I put this one here, it does make the... F okay, so they are, um, locations... Like, they are... The seeds are, in fact, different. Alright, so, um... Yeah, that is the gimmick. Which explains why the, um... Alright, so the goose that lays a golden egg is just gonna turn out to be a dragon egg. Naturally, because that's how this game works. Okay, we have another bouncy egg up here. Or bouncy seed, and we have that seed. Alright. I'm gonna put the bouncy seed here. And I'm gonna put the non bouncy seed here. And yeah, it was a flower again. Okay. Um, might as well. Yeah, okay. Let's try this again this time with success. All right. Um. Okay, I was given another seed. What kind of seed is this? Um. I don't have anywhere else to plant, though. Um. Okay, what is... Okay, I have two of those now. For once, money bags gave something. Does he go back up there? Probably. Oh, I need it here. Okay. Where'd I put that seed? There. I like how money bags keep 
selling people like genuine like he doesn't scam people most of the time anyway we want this here I found this egg on the way up here I think it was laid by a golden goose we'll have to keep going we're almost to the top and we got the egg for our progress so far. That was a dragon egg, by the way. You've been doing great so far. Two more seeds. Both bouncy this time. Um. What did I just find? A bouncy. So there's three bouncy seeds. Let's put one there. These aren't seeds as much as they are spores, but... Um... Regardless of that fact... Um, I, I see what we're doing here, but it's... A little tedious that I have to, um... Go back down here... I, I don't understand what determines if you can do the, um... Hyper glide or like the um hover flap or not. Always seems so rare. Even more seeds. Um Alright, I can use the seed here. I don't know what a that'll accomplish for me other than letting me use a seed here. Which'll let me use a seed there. Okay. Well, my end goal is clear. Now, here's the thing. I need three mushroom seeds up here. I think. So, the trick is I need a flower down here. And then I can take the mushroom with me. Yeah, that, that's the ticket. Because, um... I can put a mushroom in all these spots, like a flower won't help me in any of these spots. Like, the flower has to be the first one for it to be useful. But obviously here, that wouldn't help. These aren't as fancy as Professor's Magic Seeds were in some places. They, um, certainly look better, though. Like, even in the, um, Reed Night, the Professor's one did look... Okay, they did look a lot better, actually, over there, remember. But, like, I imagine these ones look better. I went way too far back. Alright, so now, with all three of those mushrooms planted... We're going to do this, then this, then this. Wait, is that actually a golden goose up here? At last, I found the legendary golden goose! You can have another one of its eggs as a souvenir! Alright, I wasn't expecting there to actually be a golden goose up here. Anyway. Okay, my brain is telling me to do this. My brain was right, surprisingly. Alright. Where to now, Sparks? That way? That is what I had um, figured, actually, was that we'd be leaving this area now. But first... Alright, I'm here. Um, that's an enemy. That's also an enemy. That's a death. Please tell me my game to pay off. Please game to the game. My game to game. Pay game off. Game, game, die. Alright. Of course, this is going to be a thing to pull off. Rather typically, um... I need to know how to get Sergeant Bird still, I just realized. Because he's in his level, isn't he? Alright, so... Okay. I'm starting to think this isn't meant to be possible, because this is stupid. I'll give it one more try. Then I'm gonna... No, I'm just gonna come back for that guy after I... Okay. 
What will getting me there do for me? That. Making this significantly less obnoxious to climb. Okay. Also, there's this area over here I have now noticed. Which is what leads to the hyper flame. And I got Benjamin. He's gonna do a T-pose like half of them do. I'm almost at 100 eggs, actually. Now that I, I notice. Anyway, um... I could do what I'm obviously intended to. Or I could go up here first and, um... All right, that's how you take care of that. This is how you take care of that. That's probably bird stuff. I should, you know, go um, do what I am intended to do in this game. Can I just get there from here? Cause that'd be quicker. Okay, so um, let's go. Um, for a little race to here. Um, well, what, what's the point? Probably shoot this guy, actually. I am uncertain. Wait, no, I don't want to go this way. I actually want to go this way. Climb up this ladder go over here and just kind of, um, there, now that staircase is safe, well, it will be once I find a checkpoint anyway, which, um, I'll find it at some point, I'm sure, let's go in here, now, Yeah, the other wizards didn't actually want them to elope, I don't think. It, at least that's what the I'm gathering from the plot. Okay, I want to heal, because I don't want to die again, because um, these levels are taking me longer. Like, I, I shouldn't be surprised by this fact. Oh, okay. Here we are at Sergeant Bud. Stephen Saddle, jump. Anyway. Good day, Sparrow. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a uh, mm, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, uh, just a friend, you understand? Strictly platonic relationship. Uh, certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. Uh, but what are you giving me that look for? <laughs> Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. All right, so, um... You're dating a fairy. Noted. All right, witches. All right. So, um, this seems extremely straightforward and simple. So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. Alright. I mean, that was very easy. Wait, can I go out this window? Maybe eventually. For now, I just kind of want to kill the witches. Kill the cat witches. 
Which, I mean, makes more sense than Cat Withered, to be fair, seeing as, um, Cat were associated with witchcraft during that era where people were burned alive for no reason because they were witches. Can I go up the window? Yes! Okay, I feel the need to go up every window. That was a skill point, really? Um, where's the last witch? There it is. I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They've even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, do be careful, okay? Yep. Okay, this time I can't land. Because that makes a difference. Alright, just kind of fly around and spam the attack button. No big deal here. Um, I think they are trying to attack me when they do that. Yes, they are, okay. So they do actually have an attack. There is actually a threat in this other than the floor. Um, also, this is a lot of, like, rounds for a, a single egg. Ah, you actually hit me. Anyway, um... You did it, James! Oh, I knew you weren't the leader of the hummingbird resistance movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first... I have a present for you. All right. You're giving me a child. <laughs> also, it's the hummingbird resistance. You're not a hummingbird, James. You got anything else to say, Isabel? No? Okay, um, are there any gems in here? No? Okay. What am I at? Um, I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing gems. And there's a tower I need to glide to. Um. Oh. This. Alright, well, um. There's also a tower I need to glide to. But. Um, this is gonna distract me for the moment. Can I just make this glide? Yes, I can. All right. Um, I wonder where this tower is. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. Okay, there. Where is there even? I don't know off the top. I'm just gonna continue to walk backwards through the level. Oh, it's over there. What is it doing over there? It's not vaguely backwards in the level at all. That wall looks crackable, actually. It probably isn't. There's a gem here. Um. But it, it looked vaguely crackable. Oh, it's right there. Okay, um. That wall no longer looks that crack. Okay, where are you? You're back there. Okay, um. Yeah, I, I totally need to, um. Go up there. Then, like, glide from there to places. That's what I'm gathering. Okay. I will do that in but a moment. I'm still not sure what the Hyper Flame was really for in this level that much. Also, I'm. Getting progressively less sure that that wall isn't hyper breakable, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like it would be, and that's gonna lead it right back to the very beginning because they do go back to the very beginning every time I have noticed that. Anyway, let's go up here. It's, feels like a very um compact level. Also, there was a gem I just blatantly missed up here this entire time. From here, we can definitely glide to here. From here, we can definitely... Probably... Glide to there. There we go! I finally made it, and um, yeah. You go up here, and you can glide to here. It's not exactly what I was expecting, but we got Mo. He has the sneeze. 
Anyway. Um. No? Oh, sparks. Anyway, let's go down here. And sparks is... Did I not come back and grab this gem? Gems feel weird in this one. In this one specifically. I don't know. Anyway, with that, I I mean, it, it wasn't too big a bother, but um, I guess we're gonna head back now. Wait, this level took longer than I feel it should have, with um another 40 minutes. I, I feel like this one should not have taken that long. That was entirely my fault for getting very lost several times. We're still at 4,000 gems, though. That hasn't changed. How many gems are in this game, actually? Feels like there's a lot. But um, with this, it's going to be once we um get back to Evening Lake. Obviously, as you well know at this point. Why am I talking in super slow mo? I don't know. I don't know. I've been going for um over two hours at this point, so... Like, because I... Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring me chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. So it was the sorceress who banished the dragons originally, but she's realized what she did is wrong and now she needs them back. Alright, alright. Blankia is progressively seeming less and less of the villain at this point. Like. But yeah, so she didn't realize what the basically the sorceress screwed herself over and now she's realized like she's trying to get dragons back, but she wants them under her control, I believe. Anyway, um This is uh, something fawful. I have sign out. See you all in the next one. Also, Hunter is now a circus animal.